Hi everybody! We are here at Shirt Reveal number 12 in the Shirts for Girls campaign with Dear Football. So far, we have revealed the following club and national jerseys. The Corinthians, Sweden, PSG, Liverpool, New Zealand, Everton, Inter Milan, Bayern Munich, Manchester United and Juventus. Whoa. <laughs> if you're a jersey collector like me, this is simply mouthwatering. To win one of these amazing jerseys that we've released so far, you just need to head over to the onegoal.org to donate on your chosen player. Lines will close on the 1st of December 2020, and to be totally transparent, there'll be a live draw to reveal the winner of each of the jerseys that we have available. I'm thinking why not go on there and just get someone a token early Christmas present? You could give £15 to the charity and your friend or family member could win a match-worn and signed jersey from Manchester United, Everton, Bayern Munich, Sweden. The list goes on and on and on. The One Goal has teamed up with Dear Football on this project. They're a Danish charity who support football projects in African countries. We're raising money for a girls' academy in Uganda, which will be used for education programmes, medical care, accommodation, football training for those girls in Uganda, and so many more things. Literally, you guys with five pounds can help to change lives and also be in with a chance of winning this, these incredible pieces of history. So I'm about to introduce the next player who played the full 90 minutes in the big London derby at the weekend against Arsenal. She signed for Chelsea in 2018, has 40 caps for her home country of Sweden. She has donated an international match-worn jersey from the 11th of September 2020 against Hungary. And they won 8-0 in that fixture. Hello and welcome to the live feed. Drum roll. Jana Anderson, hey. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on to join me. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? Are you aching after yesterday's game? Yeah, it was a tough game. Uh, of course, uh, a big game. Uh, but, um, just a little bit tired, but it was an important game and an important point for us. Uh, do you, after, after you've had one of those games, are you allowed to like treat yourself the night of the match? Do you get like a takeaway or something? Yeah, sometimes like you, you need to treat yourself sometimes and especially maybe after a game. So, so of course, that's a good, good point to do it if you want to. I would, I would definitely have got myself a pizza after yesterday's <laughs> game. Um, I'm going to come back onto the fixture in a minute. But first, I just want to talk to you about the incredible and generous donation that you've made to the one goal. Thank you so much for donating your Sweden 2020 jersey. I'm going to show everyone the jersey just now. Um, and while I'm showing, could you just let everyone know about the fixture that you wore this in? Let me just get it up. So, here it is, everyone. Yes, it was against Hungary and we won 8-0. Uh, so, it's a, a match worn jersey that I had during that game. Uh, yeah, so you can see the, the game up there. Uh, I'll zoom in. A really special fixture then. Um, yeah. How did it feel winning 8 0 against Hungary? Were you kind of, you've never lost against them. I was looking at your stats against them and they're pretty impressive. But were you going into that fixture? It's like a, a qualifying game. So was it an important fixture for you guys? Yeah, of course. All these games are really, really important. And even if in the ranking we, we are the better team, but maybe these kind of games it's the hardest one to win and you need to break down maybe yeah. a whole block or, or it's it's tough games even if we should win these games so and of course to do it with eight goals as well it's it's really nice and i think as well what was lovely about that game is it was like different goal scorers it wasn't one person that got all the goals it just shows how much depth you have in that sweden team now and i will come back So for all the Chelsea fans out there, um, I'd love to talk about the season so far and yesterday's big matchup against Arsenal. Um, 
how did you feel that yesterday's game went? It came away 1-1 one, one draw. Did you think it was a fair result? It wasn't our best performance. Uh, we need to be, be honest uh, against ourselves. Uh, we could have done it better. So in the end of the day, I think uh, it was a good result for us. It was a tough game. Arsenal did it well. Uh, so I think uh, we need to be happy with one, one point. And uh, I think that's going to be really, really important in the end of the season. At the end of the day, you guys have a game in hand. You win that game, you're back at the top of the WSL table. Yeah. Is there anything but the title in your mind? Or as a team, are you guys, is it title or nothing? And that's how you guys are seeing it. Yeah, that's like, that's the Chelsea mentality. You want to win all the titles. And of course, the Champions League spots are really, really important. But for us, of course, we want to, to be the top and win the title. And that's, that's what we play for. And of course, one step further for you guys would be dominance in Europe. Have you guys talked about this season and your Champions League run? Do you feel like this could be your year? Yeah, I think Chelsea have shown with all the signings that we are really, really pushing for, for all the tournaments. And that's including Champions League. And, and we want to win the Champions League. And I think we, we can be a top team in, in Europe as well. And I think and hopefully we can show that this season. Uh, and it's... I'm happy to be back in Champions League because that's the tournament you really, really want to play. And of course, for you guys in training as defenders, it must be pretty nice having some practice against, um, against the top players that you've now got in your ranks in the striking front. How did it feel signing Peniel Harder in the summer? Yeah, uh, it's a really, really good signing for us. And that's like the best forward in the world at the moment. And to have her in our team, and as you say, practiced against her and, and the other top strikers in every day. That just makes me as a player better, but also the team. So to have the top quality every, every day, I think that's improving us as a team uh, as well. And of course, you donated this amazing Sweden jersey for us um, from your Hungry game. So I do want to touch on, on Sweden. Sweden is doing some incredible stuff at the moment. I think it would be fair to say you guys were the underdogs in the World Cup um, in terms of you came from absolutely nowhere and then I'm an England fan, so I don't know if I'm quite ready to talk about it, <laughs> but you dominated Germany, you dominated England, you went pretty much all the way uh, and now everybody's got their eyes on you, everybody's watching you. Do you think that Sweden can do it at the Euros next time round? Do you feel like you're ready for that? Yeah, I think we have shown that we can play against bigger teams and bigger countries and uh, and we have shown that like in, in the bigger tournaments that we can go really, really far. So, of course, we need to to be prepared that it's going to be high expectations and we need to, to be brave enough to, to say that as a country as well, that we want to be in the top uh, in all the tournaments. And I think that that is the way it's going to go. I think I'm a bit scared that we're going to meet you next time round again. I will. <laughs> so just to finish off, thank you so much for coming on to talk to me. Um, would you be able to share everyone how they can go ahead and win your signed match one jersey from the 8-0 win against Hungary? Yeah, uh, if you want to donate some money, you can just visit the one goal uh, dot org the website and click on my jersey and uh, donate a minimum of five pound uh, to be in with a chance of winning my match one signed jersey so that would be really really nice and it's as, as you said in the beginning it's for for a good reason really really good reason and you can get it uh, for a good price as well so yeah if you want to do that just go on the website and, and donate some money I want all the Chelsea and Sweden fans out there, just think of your best friend who's a Sweden or Chelsea fan and think of an early Christmas present. Imagine being able to say, hey, I've got you a one of a kind Anderson shirt, signed, match worn. They'd be your best friend forever. And you could win that with five pound donation. It will all go to this amazing, amazing cause. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for donating your yeah, shirt. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you.